Happy Friday, everybody. This is your fourth stimulus check update and daily news report. I hope everyone's having a great day so far and welcome back to my channel. First of all, I'm gonna announce the winner of this week's $100 Amazon gift card giveaway. And this week's winner is Corey Lewis. Congratulations to Corey Lewis. You have just won a free $100 Amazon gift card. Now, if you guys did not win this week's giveaway, don't worry, because next week, I'll be announcing another winner of a free $100 Amazon gift card. And if you would like to enter the win, all you have to do is subscribe to my channel and share this video with your friends and family. This is a free Amazon gift card giveaway, folks. And I want to do my best in giving back to my community. So be sure to enter the $100 Amazon gift card giveaway by subscribing to my channel and sharing this video with your friends and family. Now for the most important news in regards to your stimulus check. You know, when Barack and I were in office, President Obama and I were in office, that's what we were doing. In 2009, the automobile industry was flat on its back. We were told that we'd never be able to sell American-made cars at the same rate as we did before. But we didn't listen to the naysayers. The Senate is now voting on a string of amendments to the $1 trillion bipartisan infrastructure plan as Chuck Schumer tries to pass the bill this week. Schumer wants to pass both the infrastructure legislation and a budget resolution. That sets the stage for a democratic spending plan before the chamber leaves for its August recess. An infrastructure bill does include $550 billion in new spending on transportation, broadband, and utility systems. But everybody, I just don't get this. Why does Congress have to go into August recess when they haven't even finished sending out the fourth stimulus check? I personally believe that Congress cannot go on recess until they do their work, until they do their job of sending out the fourth stimulus check. Now, if you guys agree that Congress must act better and move faster, tip out the American people, then let's get this video to 5,000 likes. We even had some in all in both parties who didn't think we should, quote, bail out the industry, if you remember. Well, we bet on the American worker and we extended a lifeline and they stepped up, made sacrifices to do it. And they saved more than a, we saved more than a million jobs in the process. And remember, everybody, a $1 trillion bipartisan infrastructure bill was crawling through the Senate on Wednesday as Chuck Schumer pledged to delay the chamber's August break until it passes. The Senate will resume votes on multiple amendments to the plan on Wednesday afternoon. That's according to the Democrat. And Chuck Schumer does aim to approve the final legislation this week before he starts the process for Democrats to pass a separate $3.5 trillion investment in social programs and climate measures. The Senate is scheduled to leave for its month-long recess on Monday. The chamber appears unlikely to approve both the infrastructure plan and a budget resolution. That we cannot go forward with just the bipartisan bill. Look, to be very honest with you, Wolf, a physical, I'm a former mayor, so I know a little bit about roads and sidewalks and bridges and all that stuff. It is terribly important. We have an enormous amount of work to be done in that area. Which allows the Democrats to approve this spending plan without Republican votes. Schumer then told everybody, the Senate is going to stay here until we finish our work on both measures. Folks, it looks, folks, at least Chuck Schumer is doing his job of trying to get the bill passed and trying to send out stimulus relief to the great American people. Folks, what do you think about Chuck Schumer? Tell me in the comments below. Meanwhile, Joe Manchin, a West Virginia Democrat, told NBC News on Wednesday that he thinks the amendment process could end as soon as Thursday evening. And the bill appears set to pass with more than 60 votes needed for the approval. Democratic and GOP supporters of the proposal call it an overdue investment in transportation, broadband, and utilities. Many Democrats have pushed for this spending plan as they try to bolster households through expansions of childcare, paid leave, and education. Folks, they're missing one thing though. They have not increased the Social Security benefits. President Biden and the Democrats, and even the Republicans, so far have not put in an increase to your Social Security benefits. And this is ridiculous, everybody. Congress must do a better job in helping out the American people. And most importantly, our valuable seniors. What do you think about this, everybody? Is Congress going to do all that it takes to send out the Ford stimulus check? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. Working with the auto industry, we set fuel efficiency standards and provided incentives for folks to buy fuel efficient vehicles. Through the Recovery Act, we made the largest investment in clean energy and battery technology ever made. Now, landlords have decided to sue President Biden to stop the federal eviction ban. And there are now, and plus there are actually a few ways, they can receive more stimulus relief from the American Rescue Plan. And then, 
the previous administration came along and the office, and they rolled back the standards we set. Despite bipartisan support for consumer incentives, they also let the federal tax credit expire, penalizing auto workers who were at the time selling the most electric vehicles in the world, in the United States. They announced, infrastructure, when we, they announced infrastructure week, they did it for every week for four years, and not once got anything done. Not once. Folks, the rest of the world is moving ahead. We've just got to step up. Government, labor, and industry working together, which you're seeing here today. Determined today by the majority leader following consultation with the Republican leader. Is there objection? Without objection, so ordered. Thank you, Madam President. Now, all week, as we all know, senators have worked together to move forward on the bipartisan infrastructure bill. Since the text of the bipartisan proposal was finalized on Sunday, both sides have had extensive opportunities to offer amendments. Senators have certainly taken advantage. So far, the Senate has considered 22 amendments on this bipartisan piece of legislation. We considered 14 amendments yesterday alone. Of the 22 total amendments, more than half have been offered by our Republican colleagues. Clearly, the Democratic majority has given members who were not part of the bipartisan group a chance to make their mark on this important bill. Taking a step back, this Senate has operated much differently under Democratic leadership this year than it did under Republican leadership over the past six. We've had bipartisan bills on the floor open for amendment, and all 100 senators are participating in the legislative process. The Anti-Asia Hate Crimes Bill, Anti-Asian Hate Crimes Bill, the USICA Bill were both major bills that worked in a bipartisan way with amendments, as is this bill. We've taken more amendment votes this year than nearly any year in recent memory. <coughs> in fact, we've had more roll call votes on amendments this year, only halfway through, than during the past two years. Stay tuned, folks, for more information on this. Stay until the end of this video, everybody, for more information on how to get more stimulus relief. Now, now according to data, Average premiums for returning customers. Now, the $1.9 trillion American Rescue Plan expanded the number of people eligible for subsidies for Affordable Care Act marketplace coverage. It also bolstered the tax credits for those already purchasing coverage to make the plans more affordable. For the first time, it extended subsidies to people making more than 400% of the federal poverty level and 106000 for a family of four a group that had faced deep costs for insurance coverage. According to the Congressional Budget Office, the expanded premium assistance is set to expire after 2022, but Democrats are now seeking to extend it. 